Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's NBA and Stanley Cup playoff games as well as Major League Baseball and WNBA and look ahead to today's games in each sport. Golf, news and notes, and my best bet of the day. I had to do an abbreviated show today, so I apologize about that. All right, first we'll do NBA playoffs. We'll go over... The results from last night and look ahead to tonight. 76ers over the Wizards, 129-112 to win game five in advance. Seth Curry, 30 points for Philly. Bradley Beal at 32 for Washington. Good on the Sixers for getting through without a beat. A beat can rest. Hopefully he's back for round two. Hawks over the Knicks, 103-89 as the Hawks win game five and win the series in five. Trey Young was the best player in this entire series. Trey Young, 36 points, nine assists. And Julius Randle, 23-13 and 13 for the Knicks. Jazz over the Grizzlies, 126-110 to close out in five. Donovan Mitchell had 30 and 10 assists. John Moran, 27 points and 7 boards and 11 assists. Mavericks over to Clippers, 105-100 to take a 3-2 series lead. Luka Doncic, 42 points, 8 boards, 14 assists. Paul George, 23 points and 6 assists. All right, two games tonight, 8 o'clock TNT, Nuggets Trailblazers. That's a uh, weird start time. But... There was no way the Lakers weren't getting that late spot. So, of course, that game's going to be at 8. My projections, pick them, 228.5. Meanwhile, FanDuel has this at 5 and 227.5. You know what? Let's change it up today. We're going to do DraftKings instead today. Um, five and two twenty eight is DraftKings. Um, I'm going to take Denver in the points. Denver, I don't think will win and end the series, but I think that this um will extend. But Denver will keep it close. So it's Denver plus five, and then Phoenix and the Lakers. I'm at. Assuming Anthony Davis isn't playing, Phoenix 10.5 total 219. Meanwhile, it's 2 and 208. This is such a hard call. I'm going to go over 208 for the time being. Let's just say one of the offenses goes off tonight. The Suns offense. Maybe Lakers hit some threes and this goes over. So over 208 between the Suns and. The Lakers. All right. Stanley Cup playoffs. We will go over the results from last night and we will look ahead to tonight's games. Canadians over the Jets, 5 to 3 to take a 1 0 series lead. The number three started game with a goal, Josh Marcy, or I'm sorry, an assist. Number two started game, didn't have a point, but had a good game. Ben Chara and the number one started the game with 27 saves on 30 shots. Carrie Price. Avalanche over to Golden Knights, 3-2 in overtime on a game winner by Nathan McKinnon. I'm sorry, Miko Rottenen. I thought McKinnon scored it. Number three started game with an assist, Kellen Carr. Number two started game with the overtime winner, Miko Rottenen. And the number one started game with 39 saves on 41 shots, Philip Grubauer. All right, two games tonight, 7.30 NBC Ascend. You have the Bruins and the Islanders. The Bruins are minus 141. The Islanders are plus 123. Over under 5. Overs minus 134. Unders plus 110. Boston minus 1 half is plus 188. Islanders plus 1 half is minus 230. Going Boston regulation plus 118 for the pick there. At 8 o'clock on USA, Hurricanes Lightning. Lightning are minus 159. The Canes are plus 137. Over under 5.5. Overs plus 116, unders minus 141. 
Canes plus one half is minus 200. Lightning minus one half is plus 165. I'm going to go with Carolina for the upset. I think that uh, they finally get going and uh, don't give up yet. So plus 137 for the Hurricanes against the Lightning. All right. Now we'll do Major League Baseball. We will go over the results from last night and... We will look ahead to tonight. Cubs over the Padres six to one. Mets over the Diamondbacks seven to six. Orioles over the Twins six to three. So best bet was a loser. Yankees over the Rays four to three. Blue Jays over the Marlins six to five. Nats over the Braves five to three. Astros over the Red Sox two to one. Rockies over the Rangers six to three. Dodgers over the Cardinals fourteen to three. A's over the Mariners, 6-0. Phillies, Reds postponed makeup date June 28th. White Sox, Indians postponed makeup date September 23rd. Today's games, um, not many. 12-20, Nationals, Braves, Patrick Corbin, and Tucker Davidson. The Braves are minus 132. The Nats are plus 112. We don't have run lines and totals yet. But if the total is anything less than 9, I'm definitely taking the over. 1 o'clock, the Rays and the Yankees. Ryan Yarbrough and Garrett Cole. Um, I'm probably going to go Yankees run line here. I don't have any lines up yet for this game. Let's see if DraftKings has them. I know FanDuel um, had it here. Um, FanDuel has more baseball lines up than DraftKings right now, so I'll use FanDuel for baseball. Um, Yankees run line might be the move. 2 o'clock, Red Sox, Astros. Astros going for the sweep. Martin Perez, Jake go to Rizzi. Astros minus 136. Red Sox plus 116. Over under 9. Over is minus 114. Under is minus 106. Red Sox plus 1 half is minus 170. Astros minus 1 half is plus 140. I'm going to take Boston plus 116 to avoid the sweep. I know they're probably looking at the Yankees a little bit. But I'm going to say that they win this one. 3 o'clock, the Rangers at the Rockies. Mike Faltinevich and Austin Gomber. Um, ironically, DraftKings has this one up and not FanDuel. Um, but it says John Gray starting on this list on DraftKings. Rockies are minus 113. The Rangers are minus 104. Over under 10.5. Over is minus 117. Under is minus 105. Rangers minus 1.5 is plus 145. Rockies plus 1.5 is minus 175. I'm going to just lay the minus 113 with the Rockies, regardless of who is on the mound, as the Rangers are on an eight game losing streak here. 7 o'clock, the Marlins and the Pirates. Alicia Hernandez and Tyler Anderson. That game isn't posted on either site. But if the Marlins are somehow a dog here, I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna take whomever's the underdog in this game. Seven thirty the Diamondbacks and the Brewers, John Duplaner and Brad Anderson. This game is not posted on either site. But if the total is anything less than, let's say, 8.5, over's the move. 8 o'clock, the Tigers and the White Sox, Casey Mize and Lance Lynn. White Sox are minus 225. The Tigers are plus 188. 
Over under seven and a half. Over is minus 114. Under is minus 106. Tigers plus one half is minus 120. White Sox minus one half is even money. I'm going to go. This is a, hot, a tough one. I like picking Casey Mize. But I'm going to go over seven and a half and minus 114. Twins Royals. J Happ and Chris Bubick. Rose are favored, minus 154. Happ and the Twins are plus 130. Um, No total or run line yet. Um, if the total is anything... Um, like, less than nine, I'll consider the over. Um, A15, the Reds and the Cardinals. Vladimir Gutierrez and Adam Wainwright. Cards are minus 172, Reds are plus 144. We don't have totals and run lines yet. I'm taking the Reds as the uh, the road dog here. Nine thirty Mariners Angels, Justice Sheffield and Griffin Canning. Angels are minus one fifty eight. The Mariners are plus one thirty four. Over under eight and a half. Over is minus one hundred six. Under is minus one fourteen. Mariners plus one half is minus one sixty. Angels minus one half is plus one thirty two. I'm gonna go over eight and a half. It's minus. 106 on FanDuel, minus 107 on DraftKings. 945, the Cubs and the Giants. Zach Davies and Anthony DiScofani, the Giants are minus 142, the Cubs are plus 120, over under 8.5. Over is minus 105, under is minus 115. Cubs plus 1.5 is minus 176. Giants minus 1.5 is plus 146. I'm going with the Cubs, plus 120, they're hot right now. And 10 o'clock, you have the Mets and the Padres. Tajon Walker against you, Darvish. The Padres are minus 174. The Mets are plus 146. Over under 6.5. Over is minus 124. Under is plus 102. Mets plus 1F is minus 156. Padres minus 1F is plus 130. Mets are playing better, too. I'm taking them as a dog. Plus 146 at the Padres. All right. Now we will look ahead to the WNBA window for tonight. Um... Three games. 7 o'clock, you have the Aces and the Liberty. That's going to be a good game from the Barclays Center. 10 o'clock, CBS Sports Network, the Sky and the Mercury. And at 10.30, you have the Fever and the Sparks. Um, Obviously, the last two games I took, I mentioned um, Sky need to get going a little bit. And then uh, Fever, Sparks is just not... A fun game. The Sparks will probably win that game by double digits. Alrighty. Now we will talk about golf. And this time around it's the Memorial Tournament. This is a big one each and every year. Um, do we have an early leaderboard is the question. Yes, we do. Um, tied for first with one under Doc Redman, Matt Wallace, Charles Schwartzel, and Byung Hanan. Tied for fifth at even, Seb Straka, Matthew Neesmith, William Clark, Jamie Lovemark, Alex Noren. This is updating me on the fly. Tyler McComber's in there. Tied for 11th with one on, one over. Seb Straka dropped it there. Lucas Glover, Emiliano Grio, Mark Hubbard, and... Um, who's here? Camilo Vegas. And then... 
Tied for 16th with two over. Mackenzie Hughes, KJ Choi, and Bang Honan dropped. All right. Um, notable tee times. Um, 7.56, Tony Fino, Charles Howell the third, 8.08, Adam Long, Matt Thompson, Brendan Steele, 8.20, Bubba Watson, Gary Woodland, Dylan Fratelli, Brendan Todd, 8.32, Hideki Matsuyama, Justin Thomas, Patrick Reed, Matt Fitzpatrick, Camp Champ, 8.44, Brett Horschel, John Rom, Colin Mariqua, Xander Shoffley, Shane Lowry, 8.56, Corey Connors, Ricky Fowler, um, Russell Knox, Dylan McCarthy's in the 908, along with Rafa Cabrera Bello, Harold Varner the third, Adam Hadwin. Afternoon session 1220, Danny Lee, Charlie Hoffman, Henry Higgs. 1232, Kevin Stroman, Taylor Gooch, Camp Triangle, Victor Perez. 1244, Kyle Stanley, Scotty Scheffler, Cam Davis, Luke List, Henrik Norlander, Ryan Henley. 1256, Mark Leishman, Joachim Neiman, Richie Varunsky, JT Potson, Caleb Ortiz. 108, Sun JM, Sebastian Munoz, Matt Jones. 120, JB Holmes, CT Pond, Jason Day, Luis Olson, Joel Dahman. 132, Patrick Cantley, Jordan Spieth, Tyler Duncan, Bryson DeChambeau. Um, Stuart Sink, so that's a, a pretty decent group. 144, Victor Hoblin, Adam Scott, Rory McElroy, Cam Smith. 156, Patrick Roberts, or Patrick Rogers, Lucas uh, Herbert. Taylor Hodge, Chris Kirk, John Hahn. And then um, nobody else notable really left. In terms of a pick, I can't believe Rory is 16 to 1. That's going to be my pick. 16 to 1, Rory McElroy to win the Memorial Tournament presented by Nationwide. All right, news and notes. We have a lot to get to, news and notes. That's why I had the sports segment so abbreviated. A couple monster monster news stories dropped yesterday. Most notably, Coach K to retire after this coming season, and John Shire will be Duke's head coach. Um, Mike Krzyzewski, what a fabulous career for Coach K. Um, he could have retired now and... Nobody would think of him any differently. He's just was a special coach and always was there for his players. He's gotten a lot out of his players at Duke. And I'm uh, really uh, surprised that this happened now. And Coach K, or it was announced now, I should say. And obviously Coach K is going to be coaching one more season. And he'll probably get the Grand Tour like some notable baseball players did, like Mariano Rivera, Derek Jeter. Um, I hope Coach K gets something along those lines because he deserves it. He's that special of, the, of a coach and one of the best college basketball coaches of my lifetime, so... Congratulations to uh, Coach K. The other big story from yesterday is that Danny Ainge steps down as the Celtics president of basketball operations and replacing him will be Brad Stevens. So the Celtics are now looking for a new head coach as Brad Stevens gets promoted to a full-time front office role. Replacing Danny Ainge. I'm interested to see how this works out. Apparently, coaching um, tired Brad Stevens out a lot over the past um, year or so, especially in the bubble. 
So I'm interested to see how this move will work. And possible candidates for this job, Jason Kidd, Lloyd Pierce. Um, Lloyd Pierce, to me, is not a good coach. I'm sorry. The Hawks would have been uh, the four seed going away if he wasn't, if uh, Lloyd Pierce was gone the whole year. Like, he was a uh, Philly product, a Popovich product that just didn't work out like Brett Brown. Although Brett Brown was good for uh, Philly when at the time. But, uh, you know, Doc Rivers is obviously um, their coach now and is awesome. And Jason Tatum wants Evan Turner as a head coach. As he um, tried the slow rumors that he would take over. That would be weird. Evan Turner, head coach of the Boston Celtics. All right, so I just wanted to get the two big stories out of the way. Um, Joe Thornton unsure on his future. The veteran doesn't know if he'll play another NHL season. We'll see. We'll see is what he said. So Marcus Stroman was called out by um, the Diamondbacks announcer, Bob Brenly. And um, he Marcus Stroman had a head covering, and Bob Brenly made a uh, inappropriate comment about it. The Mets manager, Luis Rojas, said it was completely out of touch and very inappropriate. And Stroman was upset by what he called um, racist undertones. And then Bob Brenly apologized to Stroman as Brenly said that the comments were insensitive and wrong. So um, that's good that everybody uh, made amends afterwards a little bit. Um, Chicago Sky acquired Dana Evans from the Dallas Wings for Shayla Heal in a 2022 third-round pick. So a nice pickup for Chicago by not giving up much. LeBron James doesn't want Anthony Davis to rush back as LeBron has encouraged Davis or he encouraged Davis not to rush it with his groin injury. Hmm. Season's on the line tonight for the Lakers. So we'll see. The 2022 College Football Hall of Fame ballot was revealed as Reggie Bush, Andrew Luck, and Marshawn Lynch headlined the first-time candidates. So, this is a um, a not-so-great story. Um, freshman linebacker of Virginia Tech, Yasai Yatui, Arrested in Blacksburg on a charge of second degree murder. Yikes. That's not good. The NFL is to stop race norming as the league is going to end practice used in concussion claims that assume that uh, players of color start with lower cognitive function. I mean, that should have never been the case to begin with, to be honest. To me, it's either you have a concussion or you don't, regardless of anything. And they should, uh, if you feel like you have a concussion, just test 
So uh, that's good that the NHL is um, uh, finally ending this as a um, the league pledges to halt use of what they call race norming in $1 billion settlement of brain injury claims. And they uh, reviewed scores p- for uh, past racial bias. And like I said, that really, um, the league really shouldn't be doing it based on that. So it, it should be, you should be getting tested for a concussion if you feel like you have a concussion or not, regardless of anything. Steven Strasburg placed on the injured list again. After leaving his star with a neck injury. Yikes. So the 2021 NHL draft lottery was last night as the Buffalo Sabres were rewarded with the number one overall pick. The number two overall pick was the Seattle Kraken as they had the third best odds. But them and the Anaheim Ducks had flipped. And then the rest of the order was chalk. As um, it was Devils, Columbus, the round out the top five, Detroit six, San Jose seven, Los Angeles Kings eight, Vancouver Canucks nine, Ottawa Senators ten. And then... It was like the Blackhawks and some of those other teams that were on the on the border. Rangers were fifteen. And by the way, the Seattle Kraken had the third best lottery odds, which was the same odds that the Vegas Golden Knights had as an expansion team in the twenty seventeen draft. But they fell to six in the lottery because of teams moving up. And the Arizona Coyotes took part in the lottery, but were ineligible to win it as the team forfeited their first round pick because of violations of the NHL's combine that tested the combine testing policy during the season. So, or during the 1920 season, as they previously forfeited a second round pick in the 2020 NHL draft. So, uh, that was a little bit of a uh, subplot there. Jake Evans, after scoring the empty net goal last night, um, took a very dirty hit from Winnipeg's Mark Sheffley in the final minute. It really looked intentional to me. And it's really sad to see Jake Evans stretched off. Hopefully Jake Evans will be okay. We'll see if Mark Sheffley gets suspended or not. And um, Nicholas Ellers um, was protecting Jake Evans as he was walling off the brawl to protect him. That is really, really uh, nice of uh, Nicholas Ellers. Joel Edmondson rips the dirty hit as Edmondson says, if Sheffley gets back in the series, we're going to make his life miserable. I like it. Um, Nick Suzuki had a ridiculous finish. As um, he waited and waited and then waited a little bit more. And then he uh, pulled off a tuck on the loop, which was really cool. John Tavares doesn't remember the hit as the Leafs captain details his traumatic injury but can only recall parts of game one. Wow. So he must have just completely blacked out after that hit. South Carolina-bound Sanaya Rivers named 
2020-2021 Gatorade National Girls Basketball Player of the Year. So, Sanaya Rivers is a female to keep your eyes on within the next couple of years. She's the number three overall prospect in the class of 2021 as she plays for Ashley High School in Wilmington. 36.8 points a game, 11.5 rebounds, and 5.3. Sales and 5.1 assists. Man, this girl's going to be special. I don't know if she'll be better than Paige Buckers or Bukers, but she's something special. I'm about to rip a pop culture megastar, Snoop Dogg, as he calls the Lakers soft. He rips the Lakers on Instagram after the blah loss to the Suns. The Clippers are better than us. Frank Vogel can't coach. Ridiculous. Frank Vogel can coach. It's not his fault Anthony Davis got hurt. But whether Davis was hurt or not, they got their asses handed to them on Tuesday night by the Suns. But to say that he can't coach is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. He carried, like He helped lead the Pacers to the Eastern Conference Finals back in 2013 and 2014. The Pacers fired him after uh, they felt they underachieved. And then he had a stint in Orlando. That didn't work out. And everyone thought that the Lakers were going to hire Tyron Lue. But I think Tyron Lue is overrated as an NBA coach despite winning a championship. But that was LeBron, not Ty Lue. For example, of that. So that's the Ty Lue is overrated case. And now the Clippers are down 3 2 to the Mavs. So there you have it. And I think that they dodged a bullet and hiring Vogel instead to see if he'd have a career rejuvenation. And that's what the Knicks thought they had with Tom Thibodeau after a uh, raw deal in Minnesota. And obviously, Thibodeau turns the Knicks around in year one, they make the playoffs. And Frank Vogel, year one, Lakers won the title, year two, not looking so hot, but that's more due to injury rather than due to performance. So, poor job there by Snoop Dogg. Austin Rivers on Damian Lillard's fabulous Game 5 performance. He was not missing for shit. LOL, I'm like... WTF is this, he says. But yeah, Damian Lillard was just on fire the other night. And there you have it for uh, news and notes for today. Last but not least, my best bet of the day. I'm going to have DraftKings sponsor um, best bet today. Just to be different. And the pick for best bet brought to you by DraftKings will be two units on and up the nine. The total in the Mariners Angels game. I'm still going to do it. So I'm going to lay two units on over nine between the Mariners and the Angels for my best bet of the night brought to you by DraftKings. All right. So there you have it for the show. I apologize for it being a shorter show today. I'll get back to everything else I was supposed to get today, like the French Open and the Women's College World Series. Don't forget tonight I'm going to have Jeff Burns on to talk some horse racing as we will do Belmont obviously talk about um, Bob Baffert getting the two-year ban from Churchill Downs. So I'm looking forward to hearing his take on that as well. Hope you guys have 
a great day, everybody.